Despite emergency surgery, Justin remains badly injured after his terrible fall from the rafters of the abandoned factory. Hospital doctor Bree Cameron has warned Justin's fiance, Leah Patterson, that he may not pull through. It's time for Leah and Justin's nearest and dearest to start saying their goodbyes. Leah's nephew, Theo Poulos, reels from the news about Justin's condition when he arrives at Northern District Hospital for a visit. But as the situation becomes more bleak, will Leah finally accept that Justin is dying and nothing can change that? Alf realizes that both his daughter Rue and family friend, Marilyn Chambers, have been lying to him. Alf wants to know what the flame in heck has been going on while he's been away visiting his wife, Martha, in Marimbula. Marilyn steps up to take the blame, claiming it was her idea to move out of Summer Bay House. Will Rue go along with the cover story and leave Marilyn to take the blame for her bad behavior? Eden Fowler is determined to get the band back on track. However, guitarist Remy Carter can't see the point of a band rehearsal. If Kirby Aramoana can't get out of her solo recording contract, then there isn't going to be a lyric reunion. With Kirby's manager, Forrest Duke, threatening to sue for breach of contract, what can they do? Just when all seems lost, Remy is struck by inspiration for an idea that could help Kirby fight for her freedom.